up, y'all? What's going on? That's right, it is Monday, Monday. Like we do about this time every week, 8 o'clock, bsideshow.net. Thank you guys for tuning in, whoever's already in the chat room. I see uh, Sophie in there. What up, Sophie? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we're just ready to get it going again, man. All the guests are almost all here. A um, couple quick and that. How was your weekend, though? New Year's weekend, how, how was it? Uh, New Year's is dope, man. I spent it over at the Key Club. Uh, I got to see DJ Quick, Sugar Free perform. I got to see uh, Faith Evans right there perform. I got some good footage, so we'll have some of that, uh, that that you guys can check out next week. So it was pretty dope. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was where uh, Casino and then Right into the Casino, man. Home That's was right. All slurping like on a bottle of uh, Henny and shit, man. Like a baby on a fucking nipple. <laughs> That's right, man. I think we got his video loaded up tonight, too. We're going to show one of his videos. Just chopped it up with him earlier today, man. Happy New Year to all the homies out there, man. Yes, For real. Yes. You know, not that uh, we should uh, use the New Year as an excuse to get things cracking, but fuck it, it's an excuse now. Let's go. Let's make it happen. 2012. <laughs> this is, this is the last year we're going to be alive, so make it happen. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know He's what gonna, I mean? You're going to get, hey, see, now you're going to get uh, spiders. Yeah, he already, already, like, yeah, <laughs> already got a thousand thoughts rolling right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. what it is, man. Oh, a couple uh, quick announcements. Um, Shouts out to 92 fam. They've been yeah. through the show a few times, you know, the Twin Towers, and uh, one of their artists on their label just dropped a new joint. That's Black Ink, it's Libra, and you can catch that on 92family.bandcamp.com. Check that out. Right there, you can see the There's album. There's the album, yeah. See so, so how we're doing it? Technology kicking in. We're trying to get trying to get a little flyer for 2012, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, DJ Zion still in the mix, so that's how we do it. Oh, um, Why also in the mix since last Monday. Yeah. <laughs> since then, he's been awake. Hey, but hey, this Friday, uh, myself and DJ Zion and the B side will be hosting the Crazy Bone Show at the Terrace in Pasadena. So make sure you guys go check that out. A lot of good artists performing, uh, dedicated, a few other groups. Uh, but come through, Crazy Bone from Bone Thugs. Uh, they always have good shows there at the Terrace, man. I like yeah, that spot. Man. It's a dope ass yeah, spot right there. It's, it's been 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 yeah, and then uh, the next day, also um, at the basement 818, which Natalie will be here, yeah, we have her here soon. Guess, yeah. She'll be here um, in a little while with Malathion. They're having a big uh, grind time battle over there on Saturday. Day, so we'll let you know all the artists and stuff that are going to be battling who's making special appearances we'll wait till they get here though you know no what I mean? and another thing out there too uh, shout out to our homegirl Day Day man she's got a uh, spot locked down Crazy Horse located in West Covina you know make sure you go check that out let her know that B-Side sent you man she'll hook you up get you on the guest list for free absolutely free Day Day's doing it big right hey, now huh? hey man I was over there doing some filming you know just chilling myself partying up do my thing you know what I'm saying and uh man good lights Wrapped around the fucking building, bro, till like past midnight. It was the most weird. That's the way ever. it used to get. That's the way it used to It was like, I said, yeah. man, I haven't seen this shit like a long time. So, so, so Day Day's Day doing it real big, man. Like, she's doing her shit, man. She's doing I'm her happy shit. to see that because she's a real cool girl. Know, uh, shout out to her. her. So she's still in Vegas at Nick's Mini, so. B, B side alumni, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what it is. And then uh, we're going to get into this mix right now. Why? We don't got nothing else right now, do we? Uh, By the way, um, But check it out, and our DJ's name is DJ Zion. He's gonna DJ jump in the big mix real fast, and we'll come right back with the spot of the broke baller in the house on the B side show. Sorry to all the Raider fans. What's up, it's Metal World Peace. Make sure every Monday you check out the B side show on the B side show.net. And homie, but as you see on the left side, I ripped them Colts, homie. Come on, dog. That's right, we're back. B side show in full effect. Got the homie Espanto, the broke baller in the building, man. The broke baller himself. What, what up, homie? What's been cracking since the last time you were here? Uh, you know, just doing what I do, man. Working on this music, trying to get Broke Baller Volume 2 revamped the way that it's supposed to be, man. I'm trying to take this music to a whole different level because everybody's doing the same thing. And it's just time for a little bit of a change. So I'm just working on some new stuff that ain't out quite right now. You know what I mean? 
what, what kind of uh, new stuff before we get into the other stuff like what kind of new uh direction you're talking about well, see, everybody, we talk off air about it a little bit but go ahead and let them know well a, a lot of individuals are stuck on some of the same thing the same of the same topics some of the same music videos and everything seems to be the same thing and nobody gets no plays and no one gets no songs listened to because everyone's already categorized and stereotyped as the same damn thing and i say it every interview i do everywhere i go i'm sick and tired of people looking at us like we're joker from friday because i am not joker from friday i repeat i am not little joker baby joker none of the jokers from friday that's the way it is <laughs> no, none of them hey the new friday is supposed to be coming out too pretty soon man we'll see if they got the jokers back on there uh, it'd be Are dope homie, to see the joker brothers dog to see debo on there homie yeah. and they're, they're gonna bring smoky back dog, smoky and have up, dating. Uh, all i know is i want to see smoky dating and then throw pinky in that bitch homie <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, what's his name? Money Mike. Oh, Money yeah. Mike. What about what about Ezel, homie? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Smokey uh, back here taking a shit on the oh, side of the house. And shit. <laughs> fucked up, dog. Putting him on blast. This, this dude. Hey, uh, you, you, the new direction you were talking about, though. Um, some of the stuff you're talking about. Can you talk about some of the topics? Man? Well, if anybody out there can really pay attention and, and, and look at the shirt that I have on, it reads blood, sweat, and you see these tally marks. That's years, man. You know what I mean? And you see the sheep soldier right here. Shout out to my boys, Dask and Mimi out there doing what they do, holding it down for street product, man. That's what it is. But a sheep soldier, man, people got to wake up and understand people can get into a lot of politics. We're in 2012 now. So a lot of people think with these little YouTube videos that they know about Illuminati and Freemasonry and all this government political game that's going on when no one really understands nothing so what i'm gonna do is just put it in my music and just let people see what's going going down with that you know what i mean that's right man hey and you got a a new premiere too we'll get into in a little while right one of the the new joints oh yeah we got a new track right here called the we don't need and that's completely on my political game that's produced for my boy mr looney looney ben productions that's how we do and uh, the music video will be coming out um you guys could probably air it um uh, release it out next week on the on the show here it's gonna oh, be okay. uh, directed by my boy Maz the hated what and, up you know, Matt? A, a little bit of uh, help on me from my boy icon big shout out what up the hated icon photography what it do what up homies man that's uh the video we just seen last by icon and shit hey uh what up to them homies by the way but uh just so you guys in case you don't know what's going on wacko's behind the boards right now we had to get a uh, a uh, speaker fixed over here but hopefully everybody hears everything okay you know technical difficulties yeah we're just trying to get it right you know what i mean that's what's up they just shot on wacko right now he's cutting it up what up wax he can interview from over there too, man. He's talented. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they don't call me Jack of all for nothing. So multitasking. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, um, a little bit off air. Also, um, we were talking about. You know, we talked about this last time. But you're a, a single father with your your two boys. Are about to go back to school tomorrow, right? All right. See, that's that's the thing. You know, I, I'm more open about my sons just based on the fact that they're boys. But I have daughters as well. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? I have three daughters and two sons. That's what I do. I raise my boys and I keep them active with their schooling within their sports my sons play football they play baseball they got trophies four years perfect attendance that's just what it does you know what i'm saying and i make sure that i get my sons to school on time every single day we got trophies to prove it and and the reason i wanted to bring that up anyways not you know is, is the mere fact like you said though tired of getting stereotyped and do a certain type of you know they they want to stereotype how we are how we act what we do but you know he's showing a little a little bit different right there and that's the truth about it because people look at us artists and as rappers with a lot of the things that we talk about a lot of the things that are on these songs but when it comes to real life situations you have to understand that we're fathers you know what i mean and there's 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 quite a handful of us that do do their job and do do what needs to be done so a lot of the women out there really need to give us men credit because a lot of us do what we need to do you know what i mean so as a matter of fact my sons are right here on the sidelines here with me on the show that's how i do yeah they, they were uh they were gonna help uh roadie in the speakers and all that they know us up at the live shows man hey check this out we're gonna get into that video um the rap god you want to yeah. talk about this before we get into nah, it? Now, nah, nah. people get irritated and, and people get mad and say, man, how this motherfucker call himself a rap god? Let me tell you this, man. A lot of people, I've said it before, want to say, oh, I'm the king of this or I'm the champion of this. Well, I got a song called King of All Kings. My song Champion was done like years ago. So everybody's on the same thing. Now, I took the 
took it upon myself to proclaim myself and anoint myself the rap god. Why? Because <laughs> there's nothing behind a microphone that I can't do. If you don't like it, then do something about it. You know what I mean? There can I freestyle is. straight from the dome? Can I perform straight? Hell yeah, I can, man. Can I, when I record, do, what do I do? Do I punch in? Hell no, nah, man. My verses come straight all the way. That's the way it goes down. Looney Bin Productions, Team Broke Ball in 805 in Terra County. I do this for you. That's what it is, man. Check this video out. B-Side Show, homie. Chill. Hey, yo, what up? This is Elder Sensei. DJ Chaos. Same one. Artifacts of Philippa. And indeed, check out the B-Side Show.net. Every Monday, every Monday, hip-hop artists. You can hear me. True hip-hop, real hip-hop. Don't stop. Artifacts, Rick City. B-Side Show. Show. Yeah, yeah, we're back, man. We're back. You saw that video right there. That was another uh, Looney Bin production, that last song, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that comes from Looney Bin Productions, you know what I'm saying? But that specific instrumental right there, that was just in my bag of tricks, you know what I mean? But as always, I represent Looney Bin to the fullest. That's what's up, man. Shouts out to all them homies, man. Real cool with all them cats. Uh, yeah, big up to know, Looney. Big Al up to Brown Prider. Alcatraz, what up, homie, man? That's the homie, too. Napalm. Hey, hey, hey check this out. Um... We were just listening off air. I think we're going to premiere this right now. Is that the intro for the new album? No, it's not exactly the intro for okay. the new album, but uh, this is just the intro for the new year. It's like, it's just like okay. I said, we on that political 2012, uh, end of days, alien invasion, political corrupt governments. Like, we're computer into all chip. that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, see, even on the computer, computer chip, chip in my neck. But check this out, Doc. Since we talk about the computer chip on the neck, what everyone fails <laughs> to realize is they already got a computer chip, and it's called your cell phone. There it is. <laughs> yeah, think me. about that. Stop following me, man. Take your SIM card out. Hey, check this <laughs> out. <laughs> check this Take out. Take off man. your GPS. Let's see what he's talking about, man. Can we premiere that wacko? Wacko on the ones and twos, Here by the go, way. Bang, political game. Yeah. Check this out, man. Be produced by Looney Bin right here. That's how we do. Looney Bin, baby. Is that we back you got a little sample of that right there man w with that uh pink floyd sample in that uh yeah looney bin man that's what's yeah. cracking what up looney hey hey that's what it is you were you were talking about a little bit about the history about how you got started in this game you've been doing it a minute too and uh you've evolved as an mc as well from from where you started to what you're going into now topic wise homie what's the uh the journey been like for you and, and also i want to know because a lot of people that don't stick to it they think they're going to blow up in a, in a weekend or something you know what i'm saying i'll say this for a lot of individuals that are barely listening to this type of music now and for the ogs that have been listening to this and understand the, the the artists that are relevant let me just tell you like this let me give you a quick history lesson <clears throat> for those that don't know Espanto, the broke baller himself, Espanto, one of many cowboys, the album which originated when I came out when all the Latin Chicano artists breakout happened during Familia Records breakout. I'm one of the originals that came from there, you know what I mean? I rolled up, like I said, at that time, 
with Down, with Brown Intentions, you know, with my boys, me, Eastside Click, dog, now known as Most Wanted, homie, out there handling their business, you know what I mean? But from then on, homie, I, I branched off, dog, I did my own thing, as we know, as we talked about, yeah, I'm a father, I do what I do, so I focused on my children for a little bit, you know what I mean? I just completely put the music game to the side, and... Now, you know what I mean? My, my children know what I do. They love what I do. Even my children make their own music, man. That's what they do for themselves. So please believe eventually you will see my daughters and my sons doing their thing. But you know what I mean? I got a history behind it. And fools need to realize the history lesson. Want to learn? Listen to How for a Hustler. Look it up. That's what's up. Is that on Money or Projects? That's already out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's already on Broke Ballin' Volume 2. People can get, uh, listen to How for a Hustler. I talk about when me and the boys were going to sign with Fat Joe and the Terror Squad so many years ago. We had it going down with Steve LaBelle. You know what I mean? Everyone's talking about Steve LaBelle now, man. I I, I had Steve LaBelle in my back pocket, dude, with, and in the phone number, homie, so many years ago, man. But it takes a lot of politics within this game. A lot of people can put a brick wall in front of your face. You know what I mean? If someone don't like you and they got to connect, believe me, you ain't going to get nowhere if that person says they don't want you anywhere. Yeah, that's that's a horrible thing, man. But that's what we we always talk about. We keep grinding. We keep doing this underground thing, and uh, you know, if we have to sell them out the trunk, CDs, all that shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, back in the days, you know what I mean. I was an individual too. I'd make one, two songs, put it on a regular blank disc with no writing on it whatsoever. Just a blank disc coming out of a little CD slip and a couple songs that I'm trying to hustle for five bucks. And what I do it, yeah, you know why? Because I'm an artist and I had to feed my children. And that's what I do. That's what it is, man. Hey, check this out. We're going to get into this next video. Zion should be here any minute with that speaker. We'll get things cracking, and then we'll come back with uh, Espanto all the way live. B-Side show, homies. Act like you know. Yeah, yeah. Yo, peace, peace. This be the God. I ain't she. God of beast, man. I'm here at the B-Side show. You know what I mean? We just did our thing over here. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure y'all catch us again, man. Every Monday night at 9. Get that real hip hop flavor, man. You already know. That's right. We're back all the way live with Espanto, the broke baller in the building, yeah. man. Doing a B side style right here. Uh, waiting for Zion to get back with that speaker. But it's all good, man. We keep <laughs> the show moving. Um, any last, any shout outs or anything else you want to let them know about your new stuff coming out, homie? I know you got a lot of stuff in the works. Well, you know, everybody just keep updated. Get at me at Reverb Nation, The Broke Baller. You know what I mean? Follow me on Twitter, The Broke Baller. Get at my YouTube channel, where Sponto Broke Ballin'. Add me on Facebook, Sponto The Broke Baller. And you keep updated with what's coming new. So, you know, Broke Ballin' Volume 2 Revamp is on its way. So, please be ready for that. Like I said, I, I'm just changing a lot of things, man. Uh, a lot of this music needs to be done up a little bit different. A lot of these topics, a lot of the way that we're represented. So, you know, people will see that for themselves. You know what I mean? That's what's good, man. They can keep up with you and see all the, the progress and the new stuff coming out, man. Exactly. And, and, and exactly. also, you, you might want to hit them in the head with something real quick, right? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, fools don't understand, but I'll be like, Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Bada, bada, this beat, fuck a brother, clue. Stinky, sticky, how they call the glue. Scary, ghost, bust the slime, a boo. Constructing havoc by the masses. Not 50, but the music massacre. Living legend like the Anunnaki. That snap that camera, paparazzi. King of the ring, Balboa's rocky. Your music rapping, not the same boxing. Carbon copy in the coffin box. They all repeat your dream like Freddy. Watch me rip it to shred. Bloody Mary red. Rap Hellraiser, music pinhead. Fantastic, fantastic, fan. A loony bin and a mole loon let me in. A minute beating in me, believe I got jacket. Broke baller on a beat, so tagging. Hit it on me, talk about I'm bragging. Evidently, I'm about the action. Set this off, it's a chain reaction. Like Thor from the heavens, I came crashing. Microphone master, music is my hammer. Urban legend for the ghetto grammar, like gamma ray. Hope DNA, you not gonna like me when I'm angry. Middle figure in the air, yeah, you know, pay me. West Coast beats from the OX East. Hey, this cracking has been unleashed. Official stamping has been revamped. Where I'm at, the sun is so care to live a disease. When dropping vocals. Yeah, that's right, man. Broke baller, spot though in the building. Chico. That's right. He said F a beat, man. We didn't need it. Just Fuck went a beat. Just went acapella real quick, man. Fucking haters, that's say something, <laughs> bitch. Acapella. That's how I do. The broke baller. V. That, Rap God. That, uh. There it is, man. All the way live right here on the B-Side Show. That's how we do it. Every Monday night, bsideshow.net. We got Daniel Barney coming up next. And we also got uh, Natalie Amalathion from the basement, 818. Real soon, we're going to get into this video. Any last shout out? Tell me, let them know. Yeah, yeah. Looney. Looney Band Productions. BP Hilton. Brown Prider. What it do? The homeboy, Mazda Hated. Icon 805. This is for you. That's right, homie. Check this video out, bsideshow.net. Act like you know. And we out. Yeah, what's up?
What's up, this the General, mm -hmm. Big Trade E. Sick Jacket from the Sick Ass Cycle Realm. Yeah, we dropping this Friday, both of us. Get that third coming. Psychedelic, baby. Yeah, I thought y'all know. What's up? LA, baby. <laughs> What's up? We just became friends today. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? We're back. All right. We got the treble Yo. back now. Yes, it sounds, it sounds beautiful in here. Yeah, man. We had a you know a little technical difficulties, but we're all right. But it's all good. It's Who all we got good. in the building, man? Let them know. Go Raiders. Go <laughs> Raiders. <laughs> there it is. Hey. Uh, my name is Daniel. Um, they call me Barney, and I'm from the home of the in and out from Ball Park. There you go, man. The original in and out by the way, for those that don't double, know. Double. The yeah. original, original. For those that don't know. Hey, real quick, man. So let everybody know, what is your occupation, sir? Well, I'm a professional handicapper. I basically, like, bet on every sport from, like, dog racing to hockey to baseball to football, NBA, you name it. Like, we bet it. Pig racing. Yeah, whatever we can make some money on, you know, we bet it. Ken you kangaroo go, races, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Take a real <laughs> boxing edges, dude. He's Ion's funny, man. He needs that mic up. I, well, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. But is there but a... Yeah, there uh, explain a little bit more for those that don't know. Um, how does it work? People call you up and then they ask you like to make their picks, like what you would recommend or, or, or what would you say to that? Well, basically I have people that like pay me to like, from my knowledge or like whatever picks I'm going to pick for the day, I send them my text and then... They kind of pick my brain. They ask me questions like, like who's starting, who got hurt. Like right now today, Ginobili just got hurt for the Spurs. So that's a big move because now the Spurs are gonna go down in value. That pushes the Lakers up now with Bynum. Like that's a big, that's a huge like injury right there. So like things like that affect the season or who we're gonna bet on and like how much money we should put on it. And so I have people from all over the country that I can like text or call and they give me their info. And so like that's just how we pick. Like, so so basically, it's like a a, a little kind of circle private circle you guys are all sharing information and yeah. then what you're doing is you're providing that service to people outside that circle the average i guess what Joes. they call them is like the sharps and then the pros i mean we're, we're considered like the pros or the sharps and then you have like the squares what i call them is like the regular betters the regular betters are like dudes that like they think they know what they're doing but like in reality like they watch it and they think they know what they're doing but Sharks really know what to do because this is what we do for like money. Right, right, right. okay. So. What, do, what do you call the ones that call crying when they lost the bet? <laughs> are they the criers? <laughs> Those are called losers. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> straight out there is no other name. <laughs> <laughs> straight out losers. <laughs> hey, what I say to what I say to that is, I mean, like losses are gonna happen. Like it's a yeah, part of the game. You should never get nervous. I mean, like when you put your money on it, like. Oh, you just gotta let it ride. I mean, and until like it hits zero, 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 so you always have a chance to win. So like, well, me, me being a realist, and that's from growing up, you know, poor probably. But <laughs> being a realist, if you're gonna make some some decision like that to bet your money, you should be willing that it get it, it might get lost. Well, it's like Vegas. You might lose. You know you're gonna lose when you go to Vegas. You gotta already have that in your head. Like, well, I'm gonna go lose, but I'm gonna have fun losing. <laughs> but right? I'm gonna have a good yeah. time. So, well, I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get drunk. So it's the same thing. I'm gonna get drunk in front of a couch and At enjoy. Least there's free alcohol. Let's see where my money goes, you know. Hey, there's free alcohol there. Where, where do you, where? How did you come about this? Like, like, were you always as young, you know, intrigued into this, or did you watch like fucking like, you know, Tales from the Bronx to say, you know, I wanted to be a bookie type thing? Like, where did this come from? Like, well, my basically my grandma, she raised me, and uh, since like I was a kid, all she watched was like sports 24/7. I mean, we Your had grandma? everything on. Yeah, my grandma like. That's old lady, dope. like, That's dope. God rest her soul, she rest her peace, but, like, she raised me, and every day there were sports on TV, I'm talking about, like, hockey, baseball, we watched tennis, I mean, tennis is actually one of my favorite sports with Wimbledon and stuff, but every day I watched TV, so, I mean, with sports, and so I, grew, I watched sports then, and then, like, when I turned 18, I realized, oh, wait, you can make some money betting, so I started getting into it, started asking questions, and here I am. Yeah, That's what it is, man. Do you have a certain... Uh is there a certain sport you would consider that either you're better at or you prefer uh, betting on versus the other? Well, this past season I had an outstanding season, like in baseball. Okay. Baseball is just simple to me because you just gotta pick a winner. Like where, like in NBA or NFL, you have to pick like you have to win by a point spread, which is difficult to do. Like you have to win by five points, six points. Like where in baseball, you just gotta win by one. So your odds are a little bit better, but. It could get tricky in baseball too, so I had a good season there. But I would consider NBA my strongest season, my strongest sport because I play basketball. 
NFL second. Now, now, um, is it just pretty much like Vegas as well too? I mean, because you can bet anything. Like, I bet that this guy's gonna be wearing his fucking Nike Airs today or something like that, man. You can bet on anything, really, right? I mean, other yeah. than just points and stuff. Yeah, there's different prop bets you could do, like, um, like who's many, gonna win X Factor? Like, is Janet, <laughs> like, is Janet Jackson's nipple gonna pop out in the Super Bowl? Or you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can pretty much bet on anything. I won 50 bucks last week on heads. I mean, last year on heads or tails in the Super Bowl. So. See, look at that. That's or, amazing, uh, right there. Or who wins the Bud Bowl? Remember the Bud Bowl? The Bud, do they even have that anymore? Super Bowl. Or, or who is gonna have the most commercials or the best commercials? The best commercials. Bud, Bud Light and Doritos. I have to say, right. the last two years have had some pretty good ones. American yeah. Idol. You could just bet on that. Yeah. Yeah. Dancing with the Stars. But hey, yeah, sir, I don't get do, can that. you really bet shit like that though? No, you really can't. No <laughs> exactly. you really can't. Wow, that's crazy though, man. And, wow. and, and do people? You have a hotline where people can hit you up, or is that private? Yeah. Well, well cause, cause for the be like Twitter, Facebook, email me, text me. Like I'm here for like I'm an open person. Like I like to talk about sports. Like when you guys ask me questions, it helps me with my decisions because I, I kind of know what you're thinking, and then if I know what the public's thinking, it helps me make a better decision of what I'm gonna do. So I just love talking right. sports all day. But let me ask you this: uh, um, Obviously, in, in this world, there's there's slang in any world when you think about it, man. But in this world, there's certain types of slangs. Go through the basics, man. You know, like like for instance, uh, how how would you say? We were just talking about this earlier. Well, you had uh, the, the money the, line. Money line, yeah. Um, point spread, which or negative seven plus four, just or basically a negative seven if their favorite means that the team has to win by seven, or if you could take the opposite side, which is plus seven, that means that you could just not lose by seven, and that's just how basically how sports betting works. I mean. So many different How, what would through. you suggest for somebody that is just getting into betting, like get, just wants to just go ahead and put down on it? First off, well, what would you suggest at a minimum? And then second, like what would you, you know, what would you, how would you guide them? Well, a great site that I use is covers.com. That's actually the best site that you could use. You could go, it gives you stats. It's just basically a betting website with betting technology. So, um, that, and then I also started Twitter because there's a lot of information that I get from like athletes or different bettors across the nation that they give me their info from like. Miami or New York where valuable information that I need from a kid in California where like I need to know how a player is feeling in Miami to make a bet so Twitter opens up the betting world for me too so Twitter and covers.com yeah. basically uh, you know let, let me ask you this because because I also watch a lot of sports you know baseball football and, and basketball mainly um, <laughs> did you did you see a lot of people get carried away when the Clippers made that trade and start betting you know their house because the Clippers are going to win it all now, or no? Well, <laughs> I'm just wondering. People got a little too happy with that trade, man. You no, know? I mean, they should be happy. I mean, yeah. Th it's, this is a good thing that the Clippers finally made like a decision. A significant yeah, move, yeah. This is a move, and like they got they got uh, Blake Griffin in the mix. So, like, that draft right there is just going to set them up for years. Like Chris Paul. So, they're good. Don't worry about them. No, good. yeah. I just don't think they're going to win it all this year. And everybody, no, no, no. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody got carried away. Scared. Like, yeah, no, no, everybody got carried away. Like, hey, Clippers. Yeah. They're going to. They're gonna ten peat now or another. Yeah, I think on. he's just jealous because they're now on the buildings and not the Lakers. Yeah, <laughs> Lakers for life, man. <laughs> nah, That's well, they're is. in the playoffs for sure. They're yeah. in the playoffs for sure. Oh yeah, it should be sure. an interesting it's season, right? It's easy to get in the playoffs in NBA though. Eight teams get in. So yeah, eight teams, but it, it always ends up boiling down to a little bit of the. Um, uh, athleticism and then a lot of the experience plays into the playoffs and the NBA to me it does coaching it also slows down a lot you need to have a half court offense like because it just like slows down the defense gets more tougher so you got to be able to get a basket versus a tougher half court defense hey, hey do you also um do you do bets on UFC too yeah but that's not mainly my thing my boy I have people that I call for that because that's their thing but that's just not my thing yeah I'm not really well, what that. is the most oddest thing that you you, you bet on um, damn. probably like heads or tails on the Super Bowl. Chicken like, fights, simple like that. Cock really fighting. Got that. Oh no, you know what? <laughs> Craziest things is like soccer games, like in Africa or like Italy uh, that you like you would never know about, like or rugby, like. Or, rugby, yeah, that, those, yes. that's pretty crazy. That's yeah. kind of rare or, uh, out here. ostrich yeah. racing or something. Yeah, like yeah, racing. Nah, <laughs> what's the, what's the what's the most that you uh, uh, that you you want, man? Damn, well, in one day, well. Like about a year ago, I went 1700 in a day. And then, uh, nice. I guess the most in a week is about, I'm small time, about 3200 or whatever. But I know people that are making like 10 racks in a day, 100, 100 racks in a week. Like, wow, they're man. doing it out there, man. That's crazy. It's all a gamble, man. It is. Watch yes. what you do. Yeah, nah. You gotta know, you gotta just 
the, 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 the main ingredient is money management. But that's in any business. You got to be able to like manage the money that you profit from and learn how to um, make more profit from that. You know, just be smart. You, with you know, that that's exactly what you just said right there. Money management is the only way when I go to Vegas that I get back. Like, <laughs> I make sure I put a certain amount aside. I take the winnings that I got and I spend that. Yeah. And then, you know, I got to make sure I got gas money to get home, you know what I'm saying? Tip, <laughs> yeah. you need tip money, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff, man. It all comes into play. Hey, let them know um, how they can get at you one more time, how they can contact oh, you and all that. Oh, basically, I'm Daniel Pharrell on Twitter and Daniel Barney on Facebook. Just hit me up, man. I'm here. That's, That's what it is. If, you, if you're thinking oh, yeah. about placing a bet. You want a little inside yeah, advice, you know. Super Bowl around the court. Let, let, me, let me give you, oh. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to give you some free picks. Let you know what's good. We, we want to do that. Make sure we do that. Yes. Free picks right here. Go, go, go for it, bro. Well, this weekend you got the wild card, basically. So, plus 11 Lions is huge value against the Saints. I mean, the Saints are going to win the game, and they should win by more than 11 points at home. But I definitely recommend taking them out. Take the Lions at plus 11. I figure it's going to be a close game. Also, the Broncos plus 8 against the Steelers. Um, Mendenhall is out for the season for the Steelers, and um, Roethlisberger is still not 100%. And I think um, Tim Tebow can still get that fourth quarter comeback in. So I like. And and plus Tebow's homeboy is Jesus, so he yeah, has, yeah. You know, there's a good chance. I heard. I heard right now he's in training <laughs> at the church down the street, so you know he's getting his prayer on man. Yeah, he's definitely Tebowing, getting his prayer in right now. He's <laughs> yeah. God is on his side. I, I was saying earlier, I wanted so to see Jesus in the sand suit <laughs> with a sign saying Tebow. That'd be hilarious. It says fear the beard. Fear the beard. <laughs> You're stupid. Hey, man. Check this out. Any more picks before we get into the next video, homie? Basically, take the Broncos, the points, the Lions, and the points, and you should have a good weekend. There it is, man. There okay. it is. Hope you guys wrote all that shit down. If not, hit him up on his Twitter. Yeah, hit me up. I might even change my mind tomorrow. Who knows? I haven't even made my bet. <laughs> but that's just what I'm leading right now. That's just like value. That's where you want to look at this weekend. There it is. And uh, he says pick Minnesota in the NBA to go all the way. So just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. That wasn't him. That was, <laughs> I'm just clowning. I don't want it to make. They're all, this guy look, has no credibility. They don't look that bad. <laughs> Minnesota Wolves don't, don't look that me. bad right now. No, no. Actually, though, they have uh, within the next few years, I think they're going to make some, some big time uh, changes. They're going to get better. Big real guys. real talk, man. Hey, uh, NBA, I'm close on. Check this out. We're going to get into the next video right here. Come back with uh, Chaotic Nat from uh, yeah, Basement yeah. 818. And Malathion, the Mango Carver. Be side. Tune in every Monday, 9 p.m. They got what you want. Effort. Shout out Rabbit. Shout out the B side show. Effort music. We all back, 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 back. Live, B-side yeah. show yeah, like yeah. we do on Mondays, man. Yes, yes, yes. So I was uh, coming to the studio, and I noticed a shovel outside the door, and I go, that shovel looks familiar. And I was yeah. like, oh, it's Malathion. And then I seen a rusty <laughs> screwdriver with blood yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Just burying people. I'm going to bury someone on Saturday. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to say that, man. I'm just staying real humble before the battle, but I'm going to bury him on Saturday. <laughs> and after that, you know what I mean? We're getting it in. It's okay. You could be humble while you shank him with a rusty screwdriver and your battle raps, man. Just that's pop his eyeball out. That's what. <laughs> they just snip the vein off. There that's what it is, man. Go ahead and let them know who we got in the building. Yo, what it is is Mel Thion, Chamber Records, Cola Crew, Project Blow, Grind Time Now. Out here up near the B Side Radio, my boy is Wacko, fucking Rabbit in the building. Yeah. Go ahead. Who are you? Yes. Who are you? Chaotic Nav from Basement 818. That's what it is, man. Sherman Oaks. It's out there in the basement. Got a gang of dope shit out there to, to go check it out. Yeah. Right oh. off of what? Van Nuys? Right off of Van Nuys. It's Sherman Oaks. And, and it's, uh, uh, let's get into that real quick before we talk about the battle. Yeah. Why don't you pass it's, the mic to her? It's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah she <laughs> Wacko likes to put people on the spot. <laughs> hey, check this out. No, though. It's a, it's a grab shop first. And, and what else you guys got in there so people know out there? Talk a little um, bit about it. We got graffiti supplies, Montana spray paint, iron lac, uh, a lot of ink, all the markers, like 30 different kinds of spray paint tips, uh, paintings, canvases. We rent out wall space for like $10 a square foot a month. Um, and we sell it for exactly whatever the artist wants to sell it for. So. There you go. And man. is that when, when they sell the wall space, is that a place where they can like kind of practice their stuff too? Or do they go there to put their downest pieces on it and slam them? Pretty much go put their, their good shit in there. But um, 
Yeah, we're gonna actually start teaching art classes and stuff. So that's dope. That's yeah. cool shit, man. There that, yeah. That's really dope. We've had a lot of, uh, well, quite a few graph artists here on the show too, and uh, I'm sure they know what all those tips are and all that stuff, man. What was that one campaign that was going on? Um, ah, oh, damn, dude, it's on the tip of my tongue. Actually, Blair Urban, who was here, uh, she was kind of reposting it, and they're talking about like murals and stuff like that, and how the city wants to go ahead and kind of like ban certain things like that, you know. But you know, murals are murals. To me, that's just art. Period. But it's a whole art campaign, and a lot of graph he- heads were behind that and stuff like that. Man, I can't even think of what the name of that campaign was. I gotta find it. They, yeah. they probably went to Nat's shop to buy their oh, tips seriously. before they went out there and spray painted. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, hey, hey, wait real quick. Uh, uh, on that note, the reason I was going and asking that, uh, that um, do you get a lot of like, uh, um, like uh, whether it's city or, or like you know officials or anything like giving any kind of trouble? Is there any harassment? Like you know, what's your opinion on that? You know. Well, to be honest with you, all the cops usually trip on us. Like, man, any tagging that goes on in the area or anywhere close to the vicinity, they can get us shut down. So I actually used to work at Workman's Outlet a long time ago, back in 98, and um, the shop in Tarzana got shut down because of all the tagging going on in the area, so all the other shops voted against them, so they had to move out of the area and shut down. So the same thing can happen to us, so please, if you come buy supplies, respect the spot. Go hit up in your neighborhood, don't hit up in mine. There it is. <laughs> Respect the radius. <laughs> or else you won't have nowhere to go buy those on, special boy. tips for your cans, man. Come on, man. Hey, um, check this out. I wanted to know, how, how'd you first get involved? Because um, I know you've thrown a oh, couple shit. battles there, and there's one this Saturday we're going to talk about. But how'd you first get involved with the battle scene and the grind time and all that? Well, basically, when I took over Basement, uh, Basement's been a big staple in the hip-hop community for years, since early 2000s. Um, so I linked up with Broken Complex, and Broken Complex are the Valley crew, the hip-hop crew of the Valley, and they used to throw MC battles over down at the Little Rock, and um, I just wanted to keep that going and give somewhere for all the kids in the Valley or in LA to go battle. So actually, the last Sunday of every month at the basement, we do a free MC battle. Well, it's free to come watch if you want to battle. Um, it's 10 bucks. Winner takes all. We have up to 16 MCs at a time, so it's 160 bucks up for grabs. Plus, we kick down a $25 gift certificate to the winner. And now, because we're linked up with Grind Time, that if you win three MC battles in a row, or actually at all, then you can automatically go straight to Grind Time tryouts. See, that's dope. That, that, that's right there. Right? No, no, that is good because... Uh, Especially for someone that actually has some battle skills, because you gotta work your, you work your little ass up to that, man. That's what I'm saying, man. You can't just step into grind time. You can't so just that, grab that a is mic a big thing. Yeah, you think here. you're gonna battle somebody, man, for real. And and I know like Malathion, you could speak on that. Um, you've been you've been grinding for a minute. Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, I've already known you for a cool minute, but um, you're like working your way up the scene, man. Talk about your new position and stuff at Grind Time. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've been a, a big fan of the whole Grind Time movement, the whole battle scene, and just being a a part of the battle scene. You always want to give back as much as you can. You know what I mean? And the people who are really determined and and just to be there and have that energy to make things happen for. A, not to be selfish and to keep things moving for a whole coast and a whole movement you know what i mean is to keep things going it's kind of like that's that's kind of what what we're striving for right now so i mean as in my, my new position it's just run, run, uh running the whole entire uh, tryout league for grind time so like i go i i attend battles i'll, I'll even enter the battle and drop my ten dollars in and you know what i mean just get it in just for the love of it i don't you know what i mean i love doing this shit like you know what i mean and so it's kind of my my way to give back is just to go out there and find the talent like i'll go to shows and run into guys and guys will hit me up and spit me a 16 or do something and i'll make them kind of you know uh send me their battles or be like fuck i can't book you right now but if if you have if you book yourself in another battle i'll come watch it and if you're dope then i'll I'll put you on for for the tryout event which happens at the basement you know what i mean and and uh it, uh, later on in the future hopefully you uh, are working with uh having them at project load again at another tryout and then you know then there'll be uh, main events that we have like on uh er, on certain months we'll have like a tryout then after that there'll be like main events so i mean the whole thing is just uh, try- bringing the tryouts and making it easier for guys who have dope bars to try out and actually be the new heavy hitters in grind time you know what i mean but but 
like you said, heavy bars, man. You make sure you guys step your game up. Oh, yeah. We, we talked a little bit about, uh, about that with uh, with uh, Caddy and uh, Cap Callis when they came through. Just like, man, you guys got to step your bars up. This ain't no joke, man. You guys better get it right, man. Yeah, for real. That, that's, that's really, I mean, that's the main. That's why I, now it's kind of we have to screen the battlers before they. That's why I said that we have to attend their thing. We have to screen them, make sure they're even tight. Because if you have a guy who's... 100% dope as fuck and, and, I, and, I, and you book him with some guy you didn't even check And he sucks Now this guy's footage is barely gonna get watched Cause homie sucks You know what I mean Now no yeah. one's gonna see how dope homie really is You know what I mean and, But yeah. it's not his fault He probably hasn't battled He probably needs to get more Try out somewhere Exposure else No that's what I like You gotta screen him man You can't yeah. have so this guy battle this guy you're, you're in other words man if, Since we were on the sports kind of thing So you're kind of like the grind time scout In a sense right yeah, you could say that, and we we throw we throw the we're a big part of the event. Like Lush doesn't book none of none of the trial battles. We, me and Christian, shout out to the homie Christian by the way. Uh, we 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 actually uh, you know book the tryouts and make and and we're we're made to see who who you know who we think could be at the tryouts, and then you know Lush is there. He sees who who was like fuck. If you come and wow them, then they're gonna be like fuck. You look at J Pro. He battled the uh, Dirt Back Dan. You know what I mean? Mega yeah. Death battled Disaster. Because now it's like, you know, the, 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 the guys who are up and comers are able to get that chance from, from OGs and keep and keep the keep the, the, the circle going, you know what and, I mean? And, and also they, they up their status real good when they when they hold oh, their yeah, own against yeah. the legends. It, it's all bars, you know, you really gotta start it's a science, you really gotta get into it. It's it's really crazy just like the whole political part in writing a battle or doing any part of that it's it's so hard you know what i mean but in reality the the you the, the viewers are the one who win it you know what i mean so yeah because they're loving it too check this out we're gonna talk about the battle saturday but first yeah. we're gonna show you what malathion does on the weekends this song's right <laughs> here called, tell them about this video homie oh shit if this lucifer. is if, 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 is this the lucifer video yeah, this is yeah. the lucifer video this shit shout out to the homie charlie joyce he shot the whole video yuri ruffin was the was the uh the videographer charlie joyce was the director however that goes you know what i mean uh it's a fucking a video of me killing an mc uh burying his body in in the fucking uh, mountains yeah. uh popping his eyeball out with a screwdriver yeah, no yeah. i don't do oh, that shout bro. out to the body too man <laughs> yeah yeah he's gonna, oh shit and he's about to do that this weekend but check this video out lucifer Bam. right here on the b-side show homie. yes sir yo it's your homeboy Supernatural. When I'm not smashing MCs, I'm hanging out on the B-side. B-side radio, you understand where the home of real hip-hop is. Make sure y'all support my new album coming out soon called The Frequency. If you want to follow me, you can check me out on Instagram at MC Supernatural, on Twitter at The Real Supernat. And until then, hold it down and keep real hip-hop alive. If you're not the solution, then you must be the problem. Let's do it. What it is, yo? What's up? What it is, yo? Okay. What's up? Through the mall. <laughs> Check this All out, right. man. We're right here with Malathion, Natalie from Basement 818. Yeah. Um, let's talk about it, homie. The the big battle going down this Saturday, right? The 7th? Yeah, the battle is going down this Saturday, the 7th, at Basement 818 in Sherman Oaks. Who do we got, we, who do we got on there, bro? Uh, you got hosted by Lush1. The main event is going to be Cadillac Ron versus the Dead Man. What so, up, Caddy? So this is Cadillac Ron's first battle since he's been back. So, you know what I mean? This is going to be some good shit. Since, since we, his mini vacation. Yes, his mini vacation. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be $10 at the door. Starts at 6 p.m. So all battlers, please be there. Uh, if you're watching or if you even see this, be there early. That's what we what we ask of them. But uh, there's going to be a, a fucking Bones versus Crooked One. Uh, Providence versus Teddy the Grizzly. Taz vs. Aries, Juice vs. Chewbacca, Top Notch vs. Epic, uh, Namek vs. Shrapnel. I myself have a battle against some guy named uh, Tony Chicken Legs for $200. Um, <laughs> and then uh, my homie Christian's battling, uh, I, I can't say his name, I just know it says The Don. So we're getting it in that day, you know what I mean? It's gonna be it's gonna be a dope event. Um, I think disaster is gonna be um, judging that. I, I think uh, that's what's popping. Some some of the battle he's gonna be judging some of them, not all of them. Um, there's gonna be a, a gang of heads in there. There's gonna be a lot of special judges coming in. Uh, there's gonna be a surprise battle. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a surprise battle that wasn't put on the flyer. Is Jake Gallagher versus Megadeth? Now these two guys are just like. Yeah, it, it, these two guys, it, it's going to be a dope battle. There's a lot of crazy shit 
going on. If you follow these guys on There's Twitter. There's a lot of animosity building yeah, up. a lot. Just a little. It, it, it's going to be a good battle. You know what I mean? Those Perfect. always make for good battles because yep. after that, they, they put so much energy into it. It always makes for, 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 good, for good viewing. You know what I mean? So just be there to see it. Be there to see all the battles. They're gonna be good. They were all handpicked nicely, so it's gonna be it's gonna be good. You know what I mean? So do you do you have favorites other than obviously the one that everybody wants to see the little beef going on? But do you have favorites? Um, I actually want to see Cadillac Ron versus the Dead Man. That's that was kind of like a weird like that was kind of like a weird match. I just that that I mean that's came out of nowhere. So I mean that's that's gonna be uh, interesting to watch. Uh, I want to see uh, plus Caddy Ron's battles are always crazy, anyways. Man. Yeah, but he he always, yeah. he always you know he always gets through it, and does yeah. it? You know what I mean? Yeah, like he's yeah. he, he's always he he stayed where he was at. He's get he's he never he, he never really lost nothing at all with none of that shit. So I mean that's big up to the homie, big up to the homie, uh, Lush One, Christian Eight One Eight, The Basement, you know Nat, big big up to everybody. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get booked for a, a, a grind time battle. I mean uh, for a grind time trial battle. At Melathion01, or you can uh, hit up Christian at Twitter at Christian818 underscore. That's what it is. That's how you get at him. Any battlers out there watching the show, you want to um, test your skills, we should say. Yeah. First, you got to go through the tryout. Yeah. Then you can battle the big boys. You, you know, know what I mean? You know what we do? I know we've talked about this before, but I think we need to do it this year. And I say we do it in February, man. At least. It gives us enough time, okay? Um, I said we have like a, a, a battle right here on B-Side. We get two artists come on here on the show, man. We'll interview them separately and then we'll just have the battle at the end of the show. We could do that. Can you help us out with that, bro? Yeah, <laughs> I, can, we can, we, I, can, I, I can get, uh, you know, we can get uh, two guys who want to try out uh, and we could, uh, we could have them just, just put it right here. I, I don't know. We, we probably can't make it an official grind time event, but we can have them battle right All here. we want to do is just have a battle on the show, man. Yes, and, and, I think and, and really we can cool. even make it to where the winner of this battle can get a tryout with grind time. Yeah, something there you like go. that, man. Something yes. like that. Let's do that. We'll there promote the shit out of that thing. I think that'd be great. That would be real sick, too, I man. think that'd be good. Like, you know, what? We'll, bring, uh, we'll have two guys who think, you know, we'll have them just battle out, and the winner of that will have, uh, you know, during the tryout. I'll book them with someone else getting that wants to get their uh, get their uh, get their battle in and there it is and then there it is. All right, cool. All right, right yeah. after right after this, we're gonna talk some magic, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna put this shit together. Man, we gotta make that. This gonna this gonna oh, be. Oh, I think it's gonna be great, man. Hey, hey, check yeah. this out, Nat. One more time. Um, let them know. Um, also your information, where to get at you, but also where the shops at and all that, so they can go check it out. Well, you can follow me on Twitter at chaotic nat, or you can follow the basement on Twitter at basement underscore 818 and uh, the address is 14516 Ventura Boulevard Sherman Oaks Cali 91403 or give us a call 818-817-3114 I got a couple shout outs though go um, for it go for it, do it. Hey, hey wait wait real quick she she brought up shouts out to a uh, barn girl Raquel we, we first heard about Natalie through her and she told <laughs> yeah <laughs> She told her the one part where I messed up is I wasn't ready for my shout outs. So yeah, Natalie, yeah. she so came prepared though. So I and did, I have I some did. shout outs. <coughs> She's just all ready and to go. And her cell phone list just hit the floor. <laughs> 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 go ahead, go I, ahead. I got yelled at the last time. I forgot a bunch of people. So uh, Christian, Lush One, Caddy, Diz, everybody at Grind Time, my very bomb employee back one, my partner Marina. Uh, versus Creed, the rest of the KOG LTS crew. Vile, Fever, Anger, uh, Dark Tooth with BPL, Ash and Conart, which by the way, Ash actually closed uh, the Conart store down on Fairfax and moved in with us. So he's Vintage 1989. Y'all know what it is. I represent that old school ruthless. Easy E, rest in peace. This the legendary cocaine. Known as the most featured artist in the game. King of G-Funk, you heard? Kicking it. Ride on B-Side. We stay on point like Stacey Adams. Wes. The whole face just her like. We're oh, back. Hi, hi we're man. on. Hey. <laughs> we're here. Check, check this out, man. That was Caddy Ron. Uh, real quick, this Friday, we're hosting the Crazy Bone Show. Me and Zion of the B-Side Show yeah. come through and... Uh, Kick it with us. That's at the Terrace in Pasadena. And then this Saturday at uh, Basement 818, we got at, at Natalie's shop. You guys need to go check out the Grind Time battle. And on this note, we had a lot of good holiday stories. Everybody was doing their thing, but we still got some 
lames out there doing foul shit, man. And I'm gonna let Natalie talk about it real quick yeah. before we get in the mix. Yeah, Go not ahead. to be a not to be a buzzkill on the good mood, but um, last Thursday was kind of a whack day for me. I uh, I got jacked last Thursday. Actually, I was gone away from my car for about five minutes, and some dickhead decided to smash my car window steal my purse with all of the shop's money like all our rent money everything all the cash everything so yo i really do not want to see my shop close mostly because all you guys that want to come out you know for emceeing for graph for everything you know i'm trying to keep the shop alive for you guys not for me not for anything else so i would really appreciate anybody that could donate some change a dollar anything to be honest with you just so i can keep the doors open and, and oh yeah, and I'm gonna post a link to uh, to Twitter or to Facebook or whatever as soon as I set up a PayPal account, probably by in the morning. That's what so. it is. So anybody also going to the battle, make sure on top of you're gonna pay your entrance fee to get in. Make sure you try to donate towards the shop too, so they can keep it moving for reals. Man, you motherfucker! Hey, and when we find out who you are, we're gonna feature. You're gonna get it, man. Malathion's got a rusty screwdriver, uh. fool. Motherfuckers, <laughs> fucking bad. No, for reals, man. That shit's foul, man. Get it right, man. Unless everybody's working, trying to do the right shit. Stop fucking it up like that, man. In the name of hip-hop, like we were talking about. Stop. We don't want stereotypes, man. We're out here doing the right things. Yeah, so yeah. anyways, Basement 818 this Saturday. Make sure you guys roll through. And then we'll, we can post a link also on the, the bsideshow.net uh, website as well. Word, thanks. Yeah, I Drac will that. do that. For, Word. Drac will Good set shit. that up, man. That's what it is. Let's get into <laughs> this mix right here. Zion. DJ Zion, the homeboy. Don't make him get crazy, too. He'll elbow drop you motherfuckers. There it yeah. is, DJ Zion in the mix. Smash your tables over the heads. Wow, well, this is a nice concert, huh? Mm-hmm. Are you, aren't you hungry? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go out and get a hot dog. Francia, loco. Y máscaras. Tres cuscorones Los mejores éxitos, volumen número dos. Hazte pa' ya, güey. No, no, hazte pa' ya, güey. <risa> 